time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. It does. I don't even know where to start with you. So many things I want to ask you about. The beginning. The, the beginning. Yeah. No, so let's start. Okay, during the off-season, most guys will go back home to their country. You decided, in my opinion, to do it right, stay here and explore the country you're living in. So exactly. you decided you were going to go on a road trip. But you weren't going to do this in any old van. You found some beat up van and tell me what happened and ended up redoing it? It's something like whenever you live in Europe, you would spend your holidays traveling to America. While I'm here, I need to use advantage that why I should fly somewhere else instead of using it and just exploring America, right? So I just did America dream. I, I checked how much it costs to rent a car and to go to San Diego. It was like not worth though. Right. So I just checked the Craigslist for like old van <laughs> and I found that like van, whatever I got it for the line. And then it goes like when you do something for yourself, so you just started with something, cleaning, building a bed, and repaint. It just goes further, further, further when you reach the like maximum level of like very strange, weird, hippie like man. Yeah. <laughs> and it's drivable. Oh yeah, for sure. No breakdowns along the route. You need to make sure that route. no, before okay. the the road trip, I make sure that all like <laughs> brakes change, tires okay. are good. Yeah. And uh, you posted the picture. A fabulous one of your, uh, I think it was the first day you were leaving and you had this awesome hat with goggles, it looked yeah. like. Where did you find that? That's a funny story. So I, I went in 23rd in Portland to, to fix my watch and there was like second store, second hand store. And while I was waiting, I was looking around with my friend and I saw this uh, hat. <laughs> And it remind me the the Burning Man when there is a festival. Yes, yeah. I'm like, that's the head from the Burning Man. I'm like, I'm gonna have it just just for fun. So it's always in my van, just somewhere just there. Just there. Yeah. All right, I like it. So you drove from Oregon all the way down to San Diego. How yes. long did it take you? Uh, I had like two weeks to to do it, but I did it very like quicker. It was faster than that. So I was just went straight to San Francisco, spent there like two days, stopped in San Jose, met my uh, doctor Alex just for dinner. Margarito? Yeah. <laughs> yeah he was the visiting family, whatever. Alex Margarito, one of the sports science yeah. guys on our, our just, trainers. Yeah, just say hi. I uh, went to Pismo Beach to visit my friend's family. They are nice. there. Uh, stop, stop in Santa Monica to see one Lithuanian guy just through community. Uh, spent a few days there, went to San Diego, spent like four days, and then on the way back, I stopped in Sequoia and, and Yosemite awesome. National Parks. Did you do Pacific Coast Highway? Yeah, that one. yeah. Oh, so I went to San to Francisco on Highway 5 and right. then took the 101. How beautiful is awesome. that? Awesome, amazing. And I think the, the, the good thing that I went on December, so it wasn't at all busy, it was just empty, quiet road. So even even if you do it during the summer, it's crazy. That highway, you can just find nooks that exactly. you feel like you are the only person on yeah, in the great. universe in that spot. It's That's beautiful. something you need to, to do, to do California road all the way down and back up. So what would you say was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, I mean, the favorite part of the trip is to meet people. That was the best part of the trip. I met amazing people and some of them too joined me on the way back to San Francisco because really? they needed to go there somehow. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, just jump in my hand, you know? <laughs> so we were stopping in the national parks and just having fun, laughing, and yeah, that was a trip. So what are some things you learned uh, on this road trip that you didn't know when you first arrived about America? Mm hmm. Every place is different. As more you go south, uh, you can see the different places, different people, you know. And I don't know, it was just great experience. Every experience, what is new, it's going to be good. So were there any, I was thinking about it, for you coming here, you have an accent to me. Oh yeah, do everybody America, did like you, Were you noticing away. different accents along the, along the route or is it more just mm. Americans in general? No, in California, no, not really. I would say if I would go through America to New York, in the middle of America, that would be very funny to, to hear. But nah, not really. Like, it's, it's, I, I understand everything so far. But everybody can say that I'm not American. <laughs> no, no. We can't understand you very clearly. Right. So you had mentioned uh, off camera a little while ago that your family is going to be coming yes. this summer. When are they arriving and who's coming? So my mother and father, they are coming here and they've never been in America the same as me before. And it's going to be amazing, good time for them, like good chance to come to visit son. Okay, what's the number one thing you want to do with them when they're here? Like what's the one thing that you're, you said, we have to do this? It's like 
20 things what I said we need to do this. So it's going to be a lot. Everything, city, out of the city, mountains, beach, people, food, everything. You could write a, a trip advisory thing for, for Portland. Maybe. I think you should. Well, thank you so much for coming on Timbers Pleasure. and 30 this week. We're looking forward to seeing you take on Atlanta this weekend. Yeah.